Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I'm here today to show you how to play Cobalt with a PS3 or Xbox remote. So if you're playing it with PS3, um, I'm going to leave you a link in the description which should take you oh, yeah, to this site. And after it loads, you want to download a program. Um, it's... where is it? Yeah, it's just here. So you want to get the latest version and choose between 64-bit and 32-bit operating systems. Uh, operating systems. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so click that, and then after you download it, you'll install it. But I'm not really going to put you through that process because you don't really need to do that. So after you've done that, open up the S3 tool. Open, and. After it loads, it will probably take you to something like this. Leave all the settings as they are at the moment, and then I'll tell you what you can change later. So go to Driver Manager, and you'll see uh, this little tick box will come up. If you have plugged it in, your PS3 remote, by the USB um, through the charger. So it will let you charging it, but you're plugging it into your computer. So tick that and press Load Driver. And what it's going to do now is install the drivers onto your computer, but plug it in before you download your 3 tool so it can install the Windows drivers just so it'll work and then load that and then after it'll come up with a log and tell you it's done so after that go back onto your profiles and then like I said leave all of this after it's finished what you can do is you can customize your LEDs so I always have one and four and then press enable and then also you can do a vibration test, I'll try and make it so you can hear it, so uh, yeah, uh, that's the vibration test. So um, now what you want to do is you want to go to Cobalt, so I'm just going to cut so I can type my password. Okay, so now you're on Cobalt um, and you've got your PS3 remote loaded up in, um, what do you call it? DS3 tool. Um, you don't actually need DS3 tool loaded up anymore, but what it will mean if you do have it loaded up, you'll be able to use the analog keys. And if you don't, you'll have to use the arrow keys. So, next thing you want to do is press start, which may the first time you be it, press L1. And then go into your profile and then create one if you haven't. And then after presets, it will probably set as 360 before. And then set it to standard USB gamepad if you have a PS3 remote, and then obviously 360 controller if you have a Xbox remote. And for a 360 controller, you don't even have to download a new program, you just plug it in and install all the drivers itself. So, thanks for watching, and see you later.